Guardians is leading the charge to release a Colorado wolf restoration plan to the Colorado Parks and Wildlife Commission. A plan the group called an alternative to Colorado Parks and Wildlife Commission's efforts focused on limiting and managing wolves. Rather than the 250 head of wolves, the experts at the Colorado Parks and Wildlife Commission has previously discussed, the groups are pushing for 750 wolves, a number they call a minimum. In a release, the group said the Western Slope's carrying capacity for wolves indicates a minimum population of 150 packs or approximately 750 wolves. They say the plan is clear that 750 wolves is not a gap, but a minimum requirement for future state delisting from the threatened to non-game status. In the introduction to the plan, Wild Earth Guardians and other groups criticized the formal processes the Colorado Parks and Wildlife Mission has undertaken, saying they quote, minimize meaningful public input and have uplifted the voices of ranchers, outfitters, trappers, and hunters over others, including Wild Earth Guardians. Other signatories include the Center for Biological Diversity, the Colorado Sierra Club, Humane Society of the United States, Western Watershed Project, and Colorado Voters for Animals. The U.S. International Trade Commission has ruled it will not impose tariffs on nitrogen fertilizers imported from Russia as well as Trinidad and Tobago. The ITC's decision comes after CF Industries filed a petition late last year to have the commission place tariffs on ammonium nitrate. In a news release on Monday, the National Corn Growers Association praised the ruling, saying tariffs would have driven up input prices even more and crippled supply. No matter what your level of hearing loss or speech disability, Wyoming Relay can help. Wyoming Relay is a free service that offers telephone services and specialized equipment, so you can call anyone, anytime, anywhere. Wyoming Relay provides telephone access for people with hearing loss and access for people with speech disabilities. Most services are available for Spanish language callers too. Wyoming Relay, a call anyone can make. Go to wyomingrelay.com, another smart resource from Wyoming Workforce Services. The Food and Drug Administration earlier this week issued a supplemental notice of proposed rulemaking to extend the compliance dates for the pre-harvest agricultural water provisions as outlined in the recent 2021 Agricultural Water Proposed Rule. The 2021 proposed rule, if finalized, would require farms to conduct annual systems-based agricultural water assessments to determine and guide appropriate measures to minimize potential risk associated with pre-harvest agricultural water. The FDA is now proposing extending those compliance dates.